Hello and welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Jordan. Now, today is a special show. In today's show, I kind of go out bass fishing, but before I go out bass fishing, I decided to go to the Red Cross and donate blood. Now, I had kind of looked around to see what I could do to help out with the Hurricane Harvey effort. I called to Texas and I called to Houston and said, hey, do you guys need any more boats? Should I bring the boat down and try to rescue some people? And they said, we definitely have enough boats. The fishermen responded in the area. We've got plenty, don't bring a boat down. So I said, well, what else can I do? Perhaps I can donate some blood. I know that there will be a need. So that's what I did. Now, after I donated blood, I decided to go out bass fishing. And that was kind of a, kind of a special trip there. Um, make sure if you donate blood and you're going to go fishing afterwards, you drink plenty of water and you take lots of snacks with you. So I ate lots of snacks in today's show. I drank a ton of water and I was able to make it through and catch some fish. Had a good time. So I hope you enjoy today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I had fun catching smallmouth on topwater walking baits. Had a good time. So stay tuned. Keep watching. You're going to love it. All right. Put my bag out of the way. I'm going to show you guys something. There's my I make a difference sticker. Uh, I'm out fishing after I donated some blood. So uh, got to kind of be careful and drink lots of water. <laughs> All right. So there we go right there. Make a difference, guys. Every once in a while, donate some blood. You might help someone out. Save a life. Oh, there we go. Boom. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. There we go. All right. Ah. All right, folks at home. I am doing something that I love to do. And you know me you know I love to walk the dog and catch smallies and that is what I'm doing right now I pull out my little pocket tool so I can take these hooks out I'm fishing one of my favorite little baits the walking dog I'm trying to get my pliers out there we go. Alright. Just one hook. And that's two. Alright. There we go. Smallmouth bass. He's in this riffle. Got lots of rocks. Pulling a topwater walking bait over his head. Yeah, he's going to hit it. Smallmouth can't resist the top water walking bait in the summer. There we go. Go home. All right. Yeah, I see him. Right down somebody's side wall. To their backyard. Oh, there we go, little one. Oh. You tasted it. Ah. Oh, 
right. There goes another one. We just kept chewing at it. Haven't found the mother load of the big ones yet. I am catching some fish. All right, there we go. Go home. All right, I'm gonna take, put a little scent on this bait. Make it smell good. Oh yeah. All right, now in today's show, I was operating at a slower pace than I usually operate at. And because of it, I was just kind of moving along slowly, wasn't getting in as many casts as I usually do, just trying to take it a little easy after donating some blood. But I wanted to show you the bait that I was using in today's show. Now, you've probably seen me use this bait quite a bit. It is a Yozuri walking dog. It is a discontinued bait. It is about three and a half to four inches long. And I have repainted this one right here. I have put some super sharp hooks on it and kind of rehabilitated it. I've caught so many fish on it through the years that uh, I just can't give it up. I can't. So I keep catching fish on it until I lose it. So when you are in shallow water situations and those fish are on the bite, topwater bait is an excellent choice. Now this one is white and yellow. I love a white bait because the, you, you can see when the fish takes the bait. And when that bait is gone, it's not on the top of the water after they hit it, you know that they've got it in their mouth. So that's why I use a white walking bait and I like a smaller one especially. If you're fishing for smallmouth, of course they have a smaller mouth. Throw a smaller bait at them. And I have this bait on 10 pound fishing sirloin and I like to throw it on a bait cast reel. It's just more efficient that way. So if you get in shallow, rocky streams and the smallmouth are on a bite, you need a good top water bait, try a top water walking bait and light line, bait cast rod, use that strategy in your favorite stream you'll be surprised how many fish it can produce for you in your favorite fishing spot. Oh, I thought that was a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey. Got him. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. Don't second guess yourself. That is the lesson. I saw something come up behind the bait. Saw a swirl. And then I said, no, that was a fish. I played that game too many times before. I stopped it. And then when I took off, that was it. Pow, he blasted it. Beautiful small mouth right there. Yeah. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Going home, Mr. Brownie. Yeah. That's fun. Being in a cool place like this. It's quiet. Deer are walking along the bank. Nice and cool. Lots of current. Lots of fish. How can you not love something like that? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one, that's a good one right there. If I can get this net out, and I can't get it out folks at home. Alright, I'm just going to lift him. Went for my net, 
but my net wasn't. It's kind of jammed down in my live well. Sometimes that happens. Good thing I had good sharp hooks on this bait. You want to land those smallies that are constantly swiping at the bait. Yeah, you're going to need some good sharp hooks. All right, there's some machinery that you hear in the background. I didn't know if these fish would be here, but hey, they're still here. All right, beautiful fish. Oh, thank you. All right. Thanks for watching today's episode of Fishing with Joe. Went out to my favorite stream and did some smallmouth fishing. Now I did that after I donated blood at the Red Cross. So after you donate blood, they say kind of take it easy. Don't exercise too hard. When I go out fishing, I go hard. So uh, I had to slow down just a little bit. But I did get hooked up on some good fish. And for me, catching fish is a lot better than sitting at home. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and catch fish. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Used my favorite little topwater walking bait and uh, caught some fish in shallow streams, especially rocky ones when the smallmouth are on the bite. A topwater walking bait is just flat out deadly. So if you haven't fished one, fish it. Another thing that I'll suggest again is Fishing Sir monofilament line. Monofilament line tends to float a little more than braided line does. And if you're throwing top water walking baits, you want that little bit of extra stretch. Monofilament line is the superior choice for throwing top water walking baits. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the show. And, you know, think about things. We've got hurricanes going on. Um, hurricane Harvey came through, and it looks like we may have another hurricane that's on the way. So, Think about things that you might be able to do to help out with the hurricane effort. Some can donate, some can donate of themselves, donate blood. Some may go down and help out with the efforts themselves. There are a lot of organizations out there that can kind of get you organized so you can go down there and be more efficient in your helping. And that's what we should all do as anglers, as fishermen. We should help one another especially when you see your fellow man is in need all right so hope you enjoyed today's show and i have lots of other shows out there should be over here or over here always get that wrong be sure to click on my shows and not the other guys shows my shows are the best ones absolutely positively all right so i'll see you guys next time remember fishing with joe you have got to love it